I'm just as surprised as you are. Okay, I'm sorry. Like so. You're on chapter 16. It's it's been a long time. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. Chapter 16. Let's get right to it. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, guys. So, uh, yeah. This is gonna be an interesting night with Beverly right here content. <laughs> Trust me. Chapter 16. Lula was out in front of the trick was out in front of the trader, sitting in a lawn chair. Nod was in her lap. His tail was hanging down, twitching back and forth. Here, said Beverly. She handed Lula a pair of wax lips. Thank you, darling, said Lula. She turned the lips over in her hand, looking at them. What are they? Lips, said Beverly. Why, what did I do with them? You do, what do I do with them? You do this, said Beverly. She put her pair of lips in her mouth, over her own lips. The wax was sweet and thick. Lula looked at her and laughed. Have you ever in your life, she said, have you ever in your life, she said, she put on, put her lips on and held very still. Her eyes were huge behind her glasses. She looked like a lost, li a little lost owl, was a very big, with with a very big mouth. Beverly laughed. Lula spit the lips out, she said. I have never before heard you laugh. Beverly shrugged. She looked. She took the lips off, she said. I guess I've never heard you laugh either. Lula put the lips back on. Beverly couldn't help it. She started to laugh again. She couldn't, she could still feel the bird inside of her, flapping its wings. She thought about Elmer. She thought about the angel on the cover of the book. I thought about the wings on the angel. She had never been, she had never seen anything so big, so blue in her life. She had, ne she hadn't, she hadn't known a blue like that, a blue like that existed. Beverly could smell the ocean. She could hear, Beverly could smell the ocean. She could hear it. Suddenly things seemed go good and possible in a way that they haven't before. Lula, Lula looked out a loop a whoop of laughter and nod leaped out of her lap and start and stalk and stalked away and stalked away tail high a door banged marine came out of her trailer and walked toward them her hair her red hair flaming and her arms clasped over her chest what yahoo she said is everything all white over there wahoo she said, is everything all right over there? Yep, said Beverly. Lula kept the wax lips in her mouth. In her mouth. She nodded Marine. Uh, Marine looked at Beverly. She said, who are you anyway? You're no relatives of Lula's, seems. You're no, you're not, you're no relative of Lula's. Seems to me that you are just some con artist trash. Whatever had been inside of Beverly flapping its wings stopped and held very still. Beverly started at Maureen, stared at Maureen. She said, I've gotten an idea. Why don't you shut up? Lula took the wax lips from her mouth. This child is my niece, she said. I don't believe that for a second, she said Maureen. Uh, Maureen, I'm going to tell Tommy Jr. and tell him something funny is going on over here. Don't you dare call Tommy Jr., said Lula. I can I can run my own life. I don't need Tommy Jr. telling me what to do. This child belongs to me. She, she is my king, and that's all there is to it. We'll see about that, said Maureen. She turned around and walked back to her trailer. Well, shoot, said Lula, Lula said after Maureen disappeared. And here we was having so much fun. Help me up, she said, holding out her hand to Beverly. Beverly pulled Lula out of her ch out of the chair. Do you want me to leave, said Beverly? I could stay some someplace else. I do not want you to leave, said Lula. I ain't going to let Marine bully me. And besides, where would you go? Beverly shrugged. Do you think that's who I am, Beverly said? Con artist trash? No, said Lula. You don't have who, you don't know who I am, said Beverly. That's not true, said Lula. I know exactly who you are. She looked at Beverly, and then she nodded and walked past her up the steps into the trailer she turned and said come on inside and let me make you a tuna melt it will give me an excuse to use that new toaster she smelled beverly didn't say anything 
she she smiled. Beverly didn't say anything. Come on now, said Lula. It will be fine. Everything will be fine. I'll be there in a minute, said Beverly. She sat down in the lawn chair. It will be fine. Everything will be fine. She wasn't sure, but she didn't think that anyone had ever said those words to her before. Beverly looked down at the wax lips in her hand. They were mis misshapen, now started starting to crumble. She thought about how she could pr probably write the letter to Rainy. In a, crook, in a crooked little house by a crooked little sea, it will be fine, it will be fine, everything will be fine in the crooked little house by the crooked little sea. Right? Oh, wow!